Hi folks, I'm solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. In this video, we'll be solving 763 partition labels. We are given the string S and we want to partition this string into as many parts as possible so that each letter appears at most one part. So what this means is, let's take this example. We are given this string. If you see this part, this is like a zero to nine elements. So here, all of these character is inside this part and none of them are in other side, right? Similarly, if you see this, this is the second part of length seven. So any character in this part is not present either in the previous part or in the next part. So this is what this state and we have to return a list of integer representing the size of each part. Let's take this example and see how we can solve this. We are given this example. So these are the indices of the string right here. And now what we will do is we will iterate over this string and create a hash map out of it with character mapped to is its last index. For example, here the last index of A is this A right here which is at eighth index so this will be a with eight similarly for b it will be here it's five so similarly we can do it for every element and this is a kind of yeah and the time complexity for this will be big o of n since we are only iterating this array once and the space complexity for this would be big o of so at most like we have 26 lowercase characters so it will be big o of 26 so which is nothing but a constant time moving on we will maintain two things which is size and the end so these two we will calculate and let's just say this will be our output list so now what we will do is we will start iterating from the start of the string and initially our size will be zero and end could be also zero but we will update our end to check the character from this hash map. So for example, the end of A is 8. So we will update this from 0 to 8. And then we will move on and check if the last index of this second character, which is 5 right now, if it's greater than our end, then we will update our end to whatever this character is because then we have to consider this whole as a group and we will have to update our end itself. As in when we will increment this, we will update our size to 1, then 2, and up until here, like we reach this index when our i will be equal to our end then we will update this here as 9 and then we will reset this size back to 0 and then again when we are at here our size is 0 and but we will check what's the last index of this t from this hash map and update our end and then continue up until here that's how our algorithm will work and eventually we will return whatever this output will be the time complexity for this approach since we are only iterating this array once it will be big o of n i hope you found this video helpful if yes you can consider subscribing to this channel and thank you so much for watching